What do you think you're doing? Homework. What do you mean homework? Phys ed. Your favourite subject, remember? Okay, smart -ass. Remember what your favourite subject is? Of course, history. Well, why don't you do some of that? It's quieter. All right, all right. my birthday, well, half my birthday, because I'm 11 and a half, which means it's six months since I got you. I'm writing this before bed. The family is well and all is peaceful. Help! Help! You're hurting me! Help! Whose turn is it? It's yours, of course. I've had them since school finished. Oh, give them a minute. They might sort it out. Get off! Sounds like a team effort might be required. Oh, stop it! Anthony, stop it! Get Paul, let go! Don't hit me! Right now, what's going on? He attacked me. I was just lying on I my bed. I was trying to do my homework and he was deliberately trying to annoy me. He jumped on me and mangled my headphones. Look. I was going to borrow them. How am I supposed to do my work with this veggie in my room anyway? Well, it's his room too, you know. Yeah, Dad, but I can't... be fine. All right, all right. We'll talk about it in the morning. Dear diary, they're at it again. Family peace is shattered because of selfish boys. Why can't they be friends? Like Nita and me. We never get violent. Paul should know better. He could learn to get along with other people, even with Anthony. What are we going to do? Send him to Africa. <laughs> Very funny. Now, we don't think it's fair to ask Anthony to share a room this year because he has to study very hard. So we think it's best if Paul moves into Douglas's room. But that's not, not fair. fair. This afternoon. It's my room. I can't share a room with him. Well, I'm sorry if you're unhappy about it, but we think it's the best thing to do now for everyone. Well, I think it's a good idea. Just because you don't have to move. Yeah, just because. Is study the only reason? What? Well, is study the only reason you're kicking me out? What else could it be? What are you doing? Taking my lamp. But I need it. Okay, then what do you give me? 
You can have my bulwark. You can't be serious. What about the calculator? It's already mine, Anthony. I know. I'll have this. No! Why not? You don't water it. You don't even know what it is. Yeah, but Mari gave it to me. What if she comes around? Tell her it died. You're lucky. Why? Because you're a girl. You don't have to share with anyone, ever. Mum, if I was a girl, I'd have to share. We all have to share, darling. Yeah. Will I have to share my room? Later, Douglas. You know it's my reading time. Wait until the bell rings. But I'll forget the question. a change of plan. Does that mean... No. Paul will still move in with you, Douglas, but you two will have to move into Ellie's room and Ellie will have to move in here. That's not fair. Ellie's got pink walls. Dad. I'm sorry, Grub, but there doesn't seem to be any other way. Well, can't we change the shed and the garden into a study? Then Anthony can work in there and no one has to move rooms. No, that's my shed. And it's going to be my best brew ever. Dear diary, I have no words to describe the disaster that has struck. But I will try. Today, I must leave this place forever. I'm to be evicted from my own room and horrible boys are to take my place. And I have to live in a slum. 
You ready, Ellie? Is it you call tidying up your room, is it? What a mess! Ellie, look, this is the dress Auntie June gave you. You told me you'd lost it. Oh, and your beautiful poncho! What's this doing under the bed? going to die of cancer. What's it matter? No one around here cares anyway. Yes, we do. You do not. Besides, what's the point? It's going to be a nuclear war. Not if I can help it. And there's no use in saving the world if you're going to die. Come on, Ellie. Help me get the rest of your stuff. Mum! Well, come and help me. Leave that old grouch by himself. cigarettes in She'd dub on me. So she should. Yeah, I know. And I suppose you have to tell Mum and Dad now. Look, I just don't understand. You don't play sport. You don't eat properly. And now you take up the filthy weed. Paul, you'll be lucky to make 30 the way you're going. Are you going to tell Mum and Dad? No. Really? Yeah, really. Good then you can just get out, because my room isn't yours anymore. No use. But he's going to die. I know. But what can we do? Paul has been acting strangely. It's the nicotine in his blood. He's addicted to smoking. I don't know what to do. I couldn't bear it if he got cancer. If he died, there wouldn't be any boy on this planet who could take his place.
What's up with you? Nothing. Nothing. Give me back my property or you'll never see your diary again. Give it back. It's personal and private and secret and you shouldn't have taken it. Well, you shouldn't have taken my smokes. That's different. I don't see how it is. I'll tell Mum. Go on then. I dare you. I will. I'm reading, Ellie. Yeah, but... I'm reading. Come back in half an hour. Paul, oh, please give it back. All you have to do, Ellie, is give me back my cigarettes. I can't. Flush them down the toilet. Well, I only wanted you to give them up. Okay. Here's a new deal. I'll seriously consider giving up smoking if you give me the key to your diary. It's only fair we trade one invasion of privacy for another. If you really care about me, you'll give me the key. Anita isn't my best friend anymore because she called me a pig-headed bossy boots. All because she's jealous of me. She knows I'm better than her at absolutely everything. <laughs> What's going on? He's reading Ellie's diary. <laughs> Dear Diary, now I know why Paul has been acting strangely. It's a nicotine in his blood. <laughs> He's addicted to smoking. I don't know what to do. I couldn't bear it if he got cancer. <laughs> if he died, there wouldn't be any boy on this planet that could take his place. What did you read? No, oh, just the start. And and the last bit. You're right about smoking. I was gonna give it up anyway. Mm.
Dear Diary, I can hardly bear to write to you because of all the dreadful things that have been happening. It's a good thing that you don't have a face because I wouldn't be able to look you in the eye. What a price to pay to have you read by another person, to have to share our secrets. But the sacrifice was worth it. Paul is safe from danger and everything is almost back to normal.